All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. Look who I have with me, uh, Dustin, the head of API at Postman. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Ravid Show. It is such a pleasure to have you here, and uh, Postcon 2024 has been pretty amazing. It's day two, and we just saw your keynote, uh, and you did a fantastic demo. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, tell us more about, you know, what you're working on, and uh, also about Client, yeah, client API? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I joined Postman. In October of last year, so I've been here a little over six months. Yeah. Um, my title is head of API client. Um, what that really means, if you've used Postman before, it's the workbench functionality. So mm -hmm. typing requests, seeing a response. We've been improving all of Postman more generally, but like that's what my team owns. And yeah. so we've been focusing on adding new protocols, so things like GraphQL, gRPC, MQTT, so on. Um, nice. I think one thing that's like underknown about Postman is that we aren't just a REST client. You know, we support other kinds of protocols. Um, and then, yeah, we have a great announcement today with V11 and a lot of collaboration features, team features, and just improvements uh, for the users of Postman today. Yeah, super exciting there. And uh, I saw the excitement in the crowd as well. Uh, people love it. And uh, just, just on this question itself, so what are the main advantages of using an API client in the development life cycle? Anything that you would like to share? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, the demo, which hopefully like we can include a link or something, maybe that'd be useful. But I kind of start yeah. with like the pain of not using Postman, and it's really around like collaboration friction. And cool. you know, I think there's this perception in the industry that like Postman is just a wrapper on curl, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and like that's a really naive way of looking at it. You know, and so um, the advantages really are that Postman is a tool that consolidates all things API, and I think of it kind of like as Figma is for the design artifact, so right? Do is Postman for the API. Right, and so there's a lot of benefits for that. One thing we actually did as like a leadership team in, in January yeah. is we built APIs like without Postman, and we thought about like how tough is this? You know, it's like using Slack, it's using Google Docs. Like mm. it's unclear who owns which decisions. It's unclear how do you share documentation. So Postman's really the epicenter for where teams should build APIs. And mm. the benefits of that are like you build better APIs, higher quality APIs, and you also build APIs more quickly, faster. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Like, and I think a lot about developer experience, mm. like, which is my, one of the, like, I think least understood terms in the industry. <laughs> and, like, I think what's a great developer experience? It helps you get to production more quickly. Right? Yeah. And that's our value prop for Postman. I love it. And uh, definitely it kind of, you know, obviously solves a lot of problems in terms of, you know, making it faster for the developers yeah. out there and then uh, also easing up a lot of things. So uh, also want to quickly uh, understand, you know, how does Postman's API client facilitate easier testing and debugging of APIs. Any thoughts? Yeah, yeah. so um, I, I wish I could just like play that demo again. <laughs> yeah, like, right. honestly, I think I showed this like pretty effectively. Like sending curl works, but it doesn't really work for like, I don't know, more sophisticated use cases. Right. And like you're sharing this like complicated hundreds of line curl, like it's much better to use basically a GUI, you know, mm. Postman or something like that. Um, and then if you think about like debugging and testing, these are really just core use cases of our team's work in API clients. Yeah. So, you know, there's like the visual niceties of like, you know, you see this, it has headers populated, it has right. uh, environment variables, tokens, you know, everything you need to get this up and running. Uh, and so it's really around like ease of use. And then the feature that I think is understated in Postman is just the fact that we do let you write kind of like integration tests. Yeah. You know, and we have that like JavaScript sandbox. So that's why I showed in the demo today. Um, you know, you can use this like well-defined uh, testing API. It's basically like Jasmine, if anyone's used Jasmine hmm. uh, before. And uh, it helps you like write test suites to validate your API is working, and it continues to work. So those, those suites are run every single time the API is invoked. You can also integrate it with tools like Collection Runner. Hmm. Um, so you can, you can run everything and the test suite you know, in a more integrated test fashion. Yeah, so I yeah. think uh, it's fantastic and great insights. Also, since we're on this topic of integration, obviously yeah. I wanted to ask a little about how does the API client integrate with other Postman services to enhance API development and monitoring, yeah. anything that you would like to share? Yeah, tons. So um, I kind of started off, I don't know if my joke landed in the demo, <laughs> but I'm like, a lot of people think Postman is just an API client. Mm. It's really just the building, it's like, it's the foundational layer that like hooks you. And yeah. then you graduate into like increasing complexity, use cases, power, basically. Yeah. And so, you know, so my demo was basically like, uh, API client is all about sending requests, seeing a response. Uh, then you graduate into a collection, which is a group, you know, then you graduate a collection into a workspace, right? But just by virtue of like following that, those three key products, you get access to basically everything else for free. So like, hmm. collection runner is like a super underrated feature that I just mentioned. That only works if you're using a collection, you know? And then um, things like performance testing, hmm. it only works if you're using a collection, right? Um, 
monitoring. You know, so if you uh, use things like the public API network, you know, you can get monitoring and analytics. Um, what else? Um, oh, mocks, like mock servers are something that I think is like highly underrated. So just if you have your schema in Postman, uh, it can generate a mock server for you for free. Right? Mm. And that can really help, especially front end teams. And like, I've been here, like, I don't want to wait for the back end team to start building out my UI. Right. You know, so as long right. as we can align upon what is the shape of this API, what are the, what's the unit test for it, like what is what should this thing do? I can build my I can build my front end without waiting for the back end team. So those are just some of my favorite features of Postman. Like there's way more, um, but those are the ones that I think you know integrate really well. Starting with the API client, having a request, so on. Now I get the messaging of why API first, yeah. for sure. I love it. And uh, also quickly, uh, since we are here uh, looking forward, you know, uh, are there any upcoming features or announcements in the API client that users can anticipate? Anything you would want to like, spill beans? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So um, YOLO, right? So uh, yes. <laughs> I'm fine sharing a little bit of our roadmap. So first thing, presumably it's to be on YouTube or something, mm. I will read the comments. So, yeah. you know, let me know how we can improve Postman. I will read, I'll probably even reply to them, right? Wow. It's really important to me that like, we're very user focused, customer focused. However, I will say, I feel like if I asked 100 users on the street, how could we improve Postman for them? Um, it might not be a new feature, mm. you know? And I think that one of the areas that we're really focusing in on is performance. You know, we're making Postman faster, easier to use, right. simpler, you know? Yeah. And it is one of the observations that I came in. I've been a Postman user for like, 10 years. I used it as my first job as an enterprise company, right? Wow. And um, Postman definitely has gotten more complex. That, that complexity is amazing for users. Yeah. But if we think about the core, oh, if we think about the core product, yeah. right? We really want to make sure that sending a request, seeing a response is as fast and highly optimized as possible. Hmm. So in general, our focus area is not, you know, feature X is going to be amazing. It's more around like, let's improve the foundation. And I think it's what every developer wants. They want a faster tool, an easier to use tool, a tool that's more effective in like helping them, you know, uh, debug, test, so on. And it goes long, you know, obviously long way if there's feedback coming in from the developers who are yeah. actually using it. And you know, PostCon 2024 has yeah. been one of those places as well where you all have brought the developers together, For interact sure. with each other. I was there at the workshop yesterday, yeah. and so much uh, interesting insights, but also the learning that yeah. happens, uh, you know, between the developers. So great work on that. But uh, also quickly, I'm pretty sure our audience would love to know if they are if there are any resources that they can learn about API client yeah. uh, that you would like to share yeah so um, and I can share the links with them yeah, yeah, for sure, sure. Um, so I am a developer by trade I like a, a computer science degree and I know that everyone learns differently yeah right so there are good uh, learning resources there's like quick starts and tutorials and guides I think our documentation is like best in class so check that out but I've always learned by doing you mm. know and so the best advice I would have for someone using postman is have an API or you know start building an API right and then start with postman use the product right and I think you'll learn more by having a concrete use case instead of like, you know, following the tutorial. So like, I'll give an example. Like, um, I, I joined a company. I was co-founder of this company called Gatsby. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't go read the like blogs and like tutorials. I built a website with Gatsby. You know, and that taught me so much more right. than I think like reading tutorials. So definitely, you know, everyone might not be like me. If you learn tutorials, wonderful. If you learn with like some YouTube resources, wonderful. Yeah, you can certainly share some of those. But I think. Learn by doing is the best mantra I could give anyone. Love it. Hey, uh, one last question for you uh, is people want to reach out to you, yeah. which is the best place? Uh, is LinkedIn a good place or yeah, any yeah. other place? Um, so I'm on X, AKA Twitter. Uh, Shout yeah. Dustin is my handle. Um, that's probably the best way. Um, and then LinkedIn, certainly. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Also one other thing. So we have a open source repository mm. that we use for issues. And so, yes, you can reach out to me directly, and I will I will reply. Um, Amazing. But, yeah. um, in our open source repo, so it's Postman app support uh, in the Postman Labs repository. Hmm. Um, that's where you can open issues, feature requests, feedback. We will respond to those. You know, this and is so amazing. I think that's one really key thing um, that we try to do too is you know you don't have to know someone at Postman. You use that repo. Yeah. But you can also reach out to me too. Yeah. So I think this is one of the best things that I like about Postman as well mm -hmm. that everyone's very approachable. I was talking to Abhinav yesterday as yeah, well, yeah. and he's like, yeah. I still go through the comments at GitHub yeah. as well. Yeah. So every the, yeah. the you know Postman is listening. Yeah. You just need to be out there to use it and you know give some feedback out there. So this is for fantastic, sure. Dustin. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, so congrats again.
again for all the yeah, announcements and the lovely demo that you did. It was such a pleasure to host you on The Robert Show. Awesome. Uh, I'm really glad to be here. And let me know if I can do anything to improve. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, everyone.